All right, guys, welcome back. Before I begin with my look at Zorn, I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out, to give an extra, extra big shout out to Don McCullough for uh, his comment on the latest comments corner. Um, he took the time to thank me for taking the time to uh, bond with you guys, as it were, doing those uh, commenting on your comments. Don, thank you very, very much. I, I don't mind doing those. I do those comments corner at random it, it kind of personalizes the, the the things that I do here um, you know I do these at random as it were and uh, I don't mind you know taking the time to bond with you guys thank you so much for all of your comments you know this channel really literally cannot survive without your support your compliments your comments suggestions donations I know it's a cliche but it really does all add up so thank you for your support over the years all right, Zorn OS 9. You can get more information here at the Zorn uh, blog. Uh, one thing I noticed it says here, be in a chance to win a DVD of Zorn OS 9 Ultimate and other prizes. I will have a link below in the show notes as far as this goes. All right, well, let's take a look at Zorn. I've been testing this since the beta, or uh, I believe since the release candidate. Uh, I've been testing it in a virtual box. No problem so far, so I don't see any problem with the final release. Let's get and take a look at this. I will not be doing this as an install, I just don't think it's necessary. All right, so let's take a look. This is the default desktop here. If you were to look at the Zorn website, this is the gateway to Linux. This is one of the distributions that helped me become comfortable with a Linux-based operating system. Really, it was three distributions that helped me. It was this, Linux Mint, and Ubuntu. Those three are my top three choices if you are absolutely new to this or even if you are not and just want an operating system that looks simple looks cool and just works I would take a look at Zorn Linux Mint and Ubuntu as I stated this is the default desktop here I won't go through every single feature here this is very very easy to navigate to and through if you are coming from a Windows environment even from a Windows XP machine which you should not be using Windows XP, shame on you. If, if you've been using Windows Vista or whatever, whatever type of PC, Windows PC, again, navigating through this, it's pretty much intuitive. This is how to, you know, right click and change the wallpapers. It's going to run a little bit slow in a virtual box, but overall, really not too bad. This does have the um, shortcuts here for home, install, and trash. It does have an automatic installer. Uh, I believe this has support to dual boot with Windows 8. I believe you have to turn off secure boot if you have a Windows 8 machine to install this properly. You may want to get more information on their website, but I believe that's that's how this works. All right, you have a panel bar here at the bottom. Again, starting from right to left, pretty much pretty easy to use this. You can get help from their uh, forum from the Zorn OS help shortcut there there you should be able to get, you should be able to get more information this is based off the latest Ubuntu uh, trusty tar this is an LTS release so this will be supported for quite a few years again it's running a little bit slow in virtual box that is normal once you do a full install of this you should be okay um, make sure you have at least a gigabyte of RAM to run this. I would say probably two to run this comfortably. This does run with Compiz graphical special effects, so that does require, that does take more system resources. All right, time and date. All right, we have the volume indicator with sound settings there on the indicator. Again, very easy output, input. You may have seen this before, nothing's really changed. This looks kind of cool. Right click on the panel. This I believe is the Avant, Avant window navigator, simple to use. It's not, it's not one of my uh, top, top choices for a panel bar. I, I, like the, um, I like the panel bar in the uh, Linux Smith Mate, but that's my personal choice. There's nothing wrong with this. This is actually very easy to use. I just happen to like the other one a little bit more than this one. Maybe it's because I'm, I've been so used to that one. All right, shortcuts here we have. Keep your files backed up regularly if you so choose to. Let's get out of that. 
it looks like Rhythmbox is installed by default. The ubiquitous media player for Linux, actually no correction. This is not a total media player. This plays strictly music. Uh, Banshee plays audio and video. All right, let's take a look at the file manager here quickly. Again, very uh, Windows-ish. Of course, this can be all customizable. Once you get comfortable with this, you can change the colors and not make it look like Windows if you don't really want to. You have some settings here, preferences, and how to change the look of this. Again, very easy to navigate to and through. You can change how the icons look here. Of course, this is brand new. I don't have any documents or music installed in this. But again, you shouldn't really have any problems navigating through this. Of course, Firefox is installed by default. I won't go to that. Let's take a look at the Zorn menu. Okay, you have accessory. Let's take a quick look at this, see if anything catches my eye under accessories. Of course, we looked at backup games. I believe there is a gaming edition for Zorn, if I am not mistaken. Graphics, GIMP installed by default, very nice. Internet, this does have the Zorn Web Browser Manager. This will allow you to choose between Firefox, well here it is here, Firefox, Opera, Chromium, and Midori. I believe there is a new version of, of um, Opera, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, where were we? Go to Office, of course, LibreOffice by default, Sound and Video. One thing that you may want to download here is install is Banshee. System Tools, Administration, Preferences, and so on. Let's, um, let's take a look at the Zorn Look Changer. This is something that is somewhat exclusive to Zorn. Now in the core version here, you have three choices on how to customize the look of your desktop. With the ultimate version, which is, I believe, a $10 donation or so, you get uh, everything thrown at this, including the kitchen sink, as it were, and six different choices to customize your desktop. If we go to GNOME 2, all right, it's been changed. Get out of that. And there you have the classic pre-Ubuntu Unity GNOME 2 look. This may or may not be easier for you. I really don't know. You, Of course, you can always go back by clicking Zoran look changer and change it back to the way it was. I think I'll just leave it here for now. I kind of like this two panel setup here as it were. Go to places if you choose to keep it this way. And home folder, desktop, documents, so on and so forth. Let's take one last look at the uh, install shortcut here. Again, if you've installed Ubuntu based Linux uh, operating systems before. You've seen this, seen this before. It's not that difficult. You don't have to do any kind of custom partitioning. Yeah, let's see if this will load up. Again, a virtual box, it's, it's bound to run slow. That is normal, so don't panic. And a full install, this should be just fine. Now, if you're going to install this on a laptop, make sure it's plugged in, of course. I would, again, if, if you have an older machine, make sure you have at least two gigabytes of RAM to run this comfortably. So if you're going to install this, English, continue. Again, you may have seen this before, but for all of the beginners out there, I'll just show you this real quick. It's pretty basic stuff. Okay, and of course, for best results, make sure that this computer has at least 2.9 available drive space. Connected to the internet, download updates while installing. I would definitely click that if you were going to a f going to do a full install of this operating system. And of course, if you have high-speed internet, that's even better. Now you would have different options here. In your case, you may see an option where do you want to install this alongside Windows 8? You would choose that. Um, if you wanted to delete your partition, just don't like what you have, you can just uh, highlight this and erase this and install Zorn. I will not, so let me just hit quick now. But just, just an example there of how to go and use the automatic installer for Zorn OS. Well, that's it for this. This is, again, the gateway to Linux for Windows users. It's 
It is, it was, and still is one of the best. Zorn OS celebrates, what is it, four years of their operating system? Five years? I lost track. It's, uh, they celebrated a, a birthday this month. It is a terrific operating system, easy to, easy to install, easy to use. And if you've never, never used Linux before, or even if you have and just want something to work out of the box, you're not really into customizations or anything fancy, just want pretty much everything to work out of the box, you really cannot go wrong with Zorn OS number nine. Again, I will have all the links below in the show notes. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for all of your support over the years. Started this back 2010, still here, so thank you very much. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux future.